Hello dear students. Welcome to this episode of the podcast on the yarn of the Nancy Bell. The yarn of the Nancy Bell is a humorous narrative poem by W. S. Gilbert, which begins with the elderly naval man, an old sailor narrating his experience on the ship Nancy Bell years ago to the poet. He claims himself to be the cook, captain, and officer, and the crew. This makes the poet feel confused as to how one man can be all those things at the same time. In stanza two, we find the old sailor and everyone on board starting their journey on the Nancy Bell, sailing to the Indian Ocean where they encountered a strip of rocks or corals rising near the surface of the sea, making them fear for their lives. In stanza 3, he further explains how it was a pretty night when due to the reef their ship lost balance and most of the crew members lost their lives. Out of the 77 crew members, only 10 of them survived and answered the muster roll. The old sailor says that there was him, the cook, the captain, the boatswain, the midship officer and the crew left on the Nancy brig. The old man explains in stanza 5 that for over a month they neither had enough food to eat nor water to drink. Till the time that they felt hungry, they played the game of drawing a straw to see who would win or lose. Finally, the captain lost the game and was cooked as a meal and eaten by the whole crew. The next in line in stanza 6 to be eaten after the captain was Nancy's mate, a deck officer who served as a delicate dish and after him the midship mate, officer working in the middle of the ship. Only seven crew members were left. Later, all of them along with the boatswain were murdered one by one. After all, the last seven crew members were killed along with the bosun. Only the old sailor and the cook were left. One of them had to become the meal for the other to survive. They argued enough to decide who would eventually be cooked to be eaten. We see in stanza 8 that both the old sailor and the cook respected each other a lot. While the old sailor respected the cook as a brother, the cook worshipped the old sailor. But both were not ready to consider the fact that either of them had to be stored and eaten by the other person out of the two. In stanza 9, the cook tells James, the old sailor, that it would be a foolish thing to murder and then eat him because he doesn't know how to cook. While the cook's profession is only cooking, he can very easily cook the old sailor. In stanza 10, we see that the cook has begun the preparation of cooking the old sailor. He has put the water to boil. While it boiled away, he added the salt, pepper, which he never forgets. And then he adds some chopped shallot, sage and parsley. Stanza 11 witnesses the gruesome act of the elderly man. The cook stirs and stirs the broth. When he bends forward, standing high on his heels to sniff the broth, he is pushed into the broth by the old sailor. We can hear his high-pitched cries further and further killed in the froth of the boiling broth. The old sailor very happily ate that cook for a week. While he was eating, the last bite fell from his mouth. When he noticed a ship nearby, the old sailor explains in stanza 13 that he is the only one left behind on the ship. He just sits and croaks. He is all alone with no one to laugh with, with no one to play with, and with no one to share a single joke with. 
At the end, he feels guilty enough for killing the only person he considered as his brother, the cook. End of this episode.